Hey, it's TJ. How you doing? Today we're looking at the Aerophone Pro from Rowan. Top of the line wind synthesizer madness. Let's check it out. <laughs> Alright, so first we're going to take a look at the physical features. The Aerophone Pro is a little bit bigger than the other Aerophones uh, that is out there for in the uh, Rowan line. A um, few things about it. It is mostly made of plastic with the exception of this center line here. That seems to be made of some kind of like brushed aluminum. And some things that are good and some things are not so good in my opinion. Um, it has these buttons here for the key touches. You can hear them, they click. Okay, that I'm not a big fan of, but to be fair, it is very much like a real saxophone, say for example, where you get a lot of key clicking. So uh, that's not so much different. Uh, they do have a nice feel to them. Um, and they have all the great alternate keys, which is really, really awesome. So I'm really, really happy to see all that, the side keys. Uh, the extra low B flat and C keys. So there's a really, really awesome stuff there. It has the extra uh, high altissimo key up here. Really, really awesome key layout. So that's really, really nice. Uh, again, the only thing I'm concerned about is these buttons here. For the key touches, I do worry sometimes that they may um, get sticky after a period of time, particularly if you're in a hot weather, you know, situation, you're sweating, your hands are sweating, they could get a little sticky. But time will tell on that. Let's take a look at the bottom side on here. Okay, and we're gonna turn it on. That is done on the side here. So we turn it on. And you'll see the display comes up with our first sounds. Now on the back side here, you've got Roland's octave keys. There's two up, two down. So they're push button. One thing about the design of these, the second octave is a little difficult to get to. I do wish they had actually pulled it all the way around to the top side so you can actually slide your thumb to this direction rather than having just to move it up like that. But you'll get used to that after a while. It has these two control buttons here. It has the main display, the ability to change the sounds and change the parameters from here. Here's your thumb. Here's your um, hook for your strap. Uh, there's a thumb hook that's very, very welcome. Doesn't always seem to have that on other uh, Winsith models, say for example, like the Iwi. Here's a pitch bend. And here's a really cool thumb controller. When you push that down, you'll get like a, uh, oftentimes a, a growl type sound. So that's really cool. These are controls to pick your favorites. Okay, and you have right here your uh, transpose functions. So that's really, really awesome. Uh, down here on the bottom, you have MIDI in and out. Very unusual to have MIDI in, so that allows you to have a control from external device to change, say, the given um, program changes and so forth. So that's really interesting. And in here, you have your battery compartment. Let's take that off real quick. Put this uh, little screw thumb. Thumb screw. Okay, so it takes six AA rechargeable batteries. Which is cool. They don't come with it. 
so you got to buy them separately as well as the charger. On the side here, you get a MIDI on and off switch. This allows you to use it for a external controller for all different synthesizers, or say, for example, for soft sense. Okay, you get your phone output jack, your power jack. This can be powered from a DC power supply. On and off switch and your indicators for that. Okay, uh, now one you know, preference from my point of view is, you know, I do wish that you could run it, you know, other than something than just the uh, batteries and the DC power supply, because if you come back to the other side here, it has a USB out. This is a USB-C type connection. Um, many other wind synthesizers allow you to run power from this. So there's only one line going out to your computer, say, for example, for the power, or you can have power directly from a wall uh, extension, uh, but you cannot get power from this. So you basically either have to run it from the batteries or you have to run it from the DC line. The negative of the DC line is that, well, if you have this on here plugged in and then you have uh, the phones plugged in and maybe you have the USB plugged in to uh, get a recording going, you've got three different uh, wires coming out of this, which can be a little bit clumsy. And generally speaking, overall, I think, you know, initially I kind of felt it was a little bit... Um, a little bit clumsy feeling with the plastic, um, you know, with the wires and so forth. But actually, if I've gotten to play it, it's gotten to be much, much better uh, feel for me. One very important thing about this is, of course, the mouthpiece. Now, I put a mouthpiece patch on here. You're definitely going to want to get one of those because this is a plastic, feels kind of like a student-style uh, saxophone mouthpiece. So the plastic is very hard. Get a patch for that. And another important feature is it has built-in speakers. Now, I wouldn't want to use these speakers, you know, for anything other than just personal listening. They don't sound that great, but they're actually pretty loud, uh, surprisingly so. Uh, and one really nice thing about them is where they are on the side here when you're playing the instrument, okay, it really gives you a nice stereophonic, uh, you know, profile, a stereophonic image of the sound uh, coming through past your head and through your uh, ears. <laughs> And lastly, the one other thing I do want to mention is it does have a quarter inch stereo output. So this is a quarter inch stereo output that you can use to go to your amplifier or uh, to do recording. Uh, one other great feature though of this is this is actually a USB audio based device, which is really, really great. So if you take the USB plug, like the one here, and they do give you one of these, which is great. A lot of people don't give you those. A lot of companies don't give you those. You can plug that right in here and you can get audio directly into your computer so that you can record it with Roland's USB driver. One thing with Roland though, is they don't usually have class compliance drivers. This is not a class compliance device. So it's not going to work on an iPad, uh, but it will work say in a Windows machine or a Mac.
so one of the really, really, really nice things about the Aeroform Pro is probably my favorite uh, feature of it is its dynamics in that you have a lot of control of breath, uh, control over bite. Uh, this is really, really one of the nicest setups I've ever seen on this. I have an Iwi, uh, an Akai Iwi 5000. I previously had a Yamaha WX5. This one is definitely the best in terms of the ability to control it just from your bite and your breath. Uh, I have here just a saxophone, a soprano saxophone type sound. Real quick listen. <laughs> And you can hear with just my breath how I'm able to control the volume and with the mouthpiece I can control uh, the pitch. Now I have that turned down pretty pretty narrow range uh, just because I like it that way but you can actually get a, a up to a uh, 50 cent range plus or minus so if you really want to get into pitch bends and so forth with your bite you can do that. There are other great uh, control functions with this. On the back here, you have this little button for your thumb, and that gives it a little growl in some of the presets, for example. So that's really, really cool. Gives it some nice growl in some of the sounds. And then you also have a pitch bend. You're probably not going to use that on the sax, so let's give it a, a lead sound. All right, I changed that on the app here. So on a uh, synthesized lead type sound. You have great control over that. And with these little buttons here, you can set these to whatever you want to be. Uh, on the factory side, they're often set for uh, giving you additional harmonics, in other words, or additional note to play at the same time. So if I push this bottom button here, it's going to give me an extra note, so I can play two notes at once. Turn it off. So that's really, really cool. You can program those to whatever you want. Uh, say, for example, if I want to have that program to uh, change uh, the settings of something else, that'd be really, really great. Another awesome feature of the Aerophone Pro is the app. The app that comes with it, it can get on your Android or uh, your iPhone. And this app can control all the functions via Bluetooth, uh, or most of the functions, I should say, via Bluetooth from the Aerophone Pro right on the app. You can pick your favorites here. You can select those, or you can go up to the top here and you can select all the different sounds from here. And there are a ton of sounds. This is one of the really nice things about this. All these different categories, uh, synth leads, you have uh, synth pads and strings, brass, woodwinds, brass winds, strings, ethnic keyboards, guitar, bass, percussion, and another great thing is that you have the ability to save your own presets, your own sounds. There is some limited functions on how to uh, make changes on these. So let's say, let's pick one here. Okay. Uh, 
All right, now I can go down here to the editor. Okay, and in the editor, it picks the basic tone. So you can select the basic tone select. And then you can change the effects, how much the effects. You can change things that are common to it, the volume, uh, the internal tempo for, say, the delay uh, that can sync to that your control bend range, all these different types of functions. You can actually select harmonies so it can play more than one harmony at the same time rather than just the bass note. Okay, and then you can write that. And these are some of the other internal controls that you can change. A lot of ability to make uh, individual tweaks to these uh, preset sounds that are in the Airphone Pro. Only negative that I really see is that you can't really dive deep into the sounds and create, you know, down to selecting the envelopes and the filter settings and all the really deep dive stuff that you could do, say, with a regular synthesizer. The sounds that are in the Aerofoam Pro are based on Roland's um, Supernatural Sounds, which is in their FA06 series type synthesizers, FA06, FA07, FA08, and their Zen Core synthesizers, you know, which is in the Phantom series, say, for example. Um, there is software that Rowan has that you can make edits to those things, but they're not yet compatible with the Aerophone Pro. So hopefully in some update, they will be able to do that. Right, so a quick look at the display. I'm not going to go through all the different uh, display functions because there's really a ton of them. And remember, a lot of them you can actually access from the app itself. But if you do want to change the parameters, you can just push this menu button here like that. OK, and you can scroll through all the different parameters that you can access and change. And like I said, there are a ton of them, really a lot of ability to make changes on here and set this up the way you want. And when, when, it, when you want to go back to the sound, just hit the up and down button here. Oops. That'll take you to the sound, and this here you can scroll through the different sounds if you want to. All right, that's it on the Rowan Aerophone Pro. This is really uh, the top of the line wind synthesizer. It is really, really nice. I've been playing it a lot. Uh, and I haven't even gotten through all the factory sounds. A lot of them are really, really good. Uh, I'm very surprised, actually, with some of the saxophone sounds and some of the other uh you know, realistic sounds, they sound really, really good. They are the uh, uh, supernatural type sounds. Um, they sound really, really good. And some of the synth sounds also sound very, very, very good. So I'm very uh, impressed with that. Uh, you can definitely pick out a lot of favorites and use those all day long. So congratulations, Roland, on putting out a great instrument. And it really is an instrument. It's not just, a, you know, a device or of a controller, say, for example. Uh, you can play this all day long and be very, very satisfied with it. Thanks so much for watching the video. Please do uh, share it and subscribe to this channel. Check out tjontheroad.com for more. There's all kinds of stuff on there uh, about wind synthesizers, synthesizers in general, guitar gear, all kinds of great stuff, as well as my own music. Thanks so much for joining me, and I'll see you next time.